Okay, well, let's let's try this again. Let's try this again with uh, with all my my items because I really didn't feel like fighting Ganon with well, not Ganon demise with with six hearts. Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. Yes, I know. I've I heard all of this before because I am the hero of time. I'm doing this again. <laughs> Uh, Groundhog Day. All right. This time, this time I think I have an idea of how to beat him. It's just I only got that idea way too. I'm going to skip it because we've, we've seen this before. I only got this idea like at the very end of the fight, and that wasn't that wasn't good enough. That was not good enough. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so jumping to the side is not good. Okay. Stab him! Jump back! Jump back! Okay. Jump back! Okay, not, don't, don't jump back, okay. Um. Okay. Concentrating here, this is ouch! Okay, I should just focus on avoiding take, taking damage and less on attacking. That's not the kind of guy that I am! God! But I should be that guy. Come on, man. That was, that was dumb. I have to balance my sword and my shield. Ugh, God damn it! No, man. Like this? Yes. Okay. Yes, I have to balance the sword and the shield. Like, attack him until he starts swinging, and then parry two of his attacks, and then slice once, and then parry more. That's how you have to do it. This is how I think, yes. This is how I thought you had to do it. Okay, now I got struck by lightning. Come on. Two, three, and then jump back. Ouch, okay, this was not how I, how I intended it to go. And then... Ah, no, man! That was not it! That was not it. One, two, three, and jump... Ah, no! That was a slice! From, from right to left, not left to... God, really? Really, Link, you gotta listen to me, man, because... <sighs> right to left, Link! <sighs> okay, this is not working. Oh god, I have the fairies again. How the hell am I gonna do this? This is pretty retarded. Let's see. Okay, let's see. No, not this! Put away. What? Where the hell is the guy? Jesus, man. One, two. Oh, I didn't tell you to swing. No! Damn it, Link. Okay, drink it. Drink it. Drink it! Holy shit, Link. You need to listen to me, man. Drink the potion when I tell you to drink the potion. And don't drink the potion when you're not supposed to. One, two, three. How am I not? How am I supposed to do this now? Two. How about if I just... Ouch. Okay, now drink the potion. Okay, put it back. Okay. Maybe... One, two, three. Okay, yeah, vertical slices is what I have to do. So, no. One, two, three. Come on, vertical slices. Come on, man. One, two, three. Vertical. Come on, man. One, two, three! One, two, three, vertical! One... Now you hit him. And now you jump back, because he's going to use his bullshit attack. Okay, now... Okay. Come on, man. One, two, 
three vertical. Come on, you're gonna one, two, three vertical. One, two, three vertical. Come on, man. One, two, three vertical. One, two, three vertical. I mean, this is the only solution I can find. Two, three vertical. Might be slow, but it's what I have. Okay. Kill him. Oh, I missed. One, two. Ah, oh, goddammit. Now he has his lightning bullshit again. Come on, man. One, two, three. Okay, one more. Ah, come on. One, two, three. Vertical. One. Ooh, that was good. I don't know what happened there, but that was good. Die, you piece of shit. Oh my god. One, two, three. How about if I Skyward Stripes? What happens? Ah. Oh my god, How, what happens if I Skyward Stripe? Like... Ah, that was too slow! God damn it. Kind of losing focus here. One, two, three, vertical. Yes! Thank you! Okay. Guess you had to do it three times. Whew. That was tough. That was not easy. Is this the end, or do we have another phase of you? Usually there are more than one phases to Ganondorf. Are you similar to him, or...? What is happening here? Okay, no sword. What now? Thank God, that sword is the bane of my existence. Extraordinary. You stand as a paragon of your kind, human. Damn straight I'm a paragon. You fight like no man or demon I have ever known. Though this is not the end. This is not the end. Oh my god, my hate never perishes. It is born anew in a cycle with no end. Oh crap. I will rise again. Yeah, you're somewhat... Uh, those like you, those who share the blood of the goddess and the spirit of the hero, they are eternally bound to this curse. Yeah, you, you're somewhat similar to Ganon. You, you, you... An incarnation of my hatred shall ever follow your kind, dooming them to wander a blood-soaked sea of darkness for all time. So I guess the Mize is the same is, is the same guy? Like, is, is Ganon? I, I, I don't know. Is, is this what I'm supposed to... To retain from your story? And apparently this is the end. Well, for this incarnation of Zelda, anyways. You're done. Some epic stuff happening. The sword is absorbing the darkness. Because it is the bane of evil. I have confirmed the eradication of the Demon King. His residual consciousness has been absorbed into the Master Sword. It is now sealed away. Nice. So you're now stuck inside the Master Sword. What's happening? Why is everything... Why am I dead? Okay, I'm not dead. Is Zelda okay? Was I able to save her? Like, is, is her soul still good? You have done well, Link. Thank you, Impa. It means a lot to me that you, you're giving me praise. Because, uh, in the beginning, you're a little bit of an asshole to me. Yay! Here's Zelda and Groose, and the gang is back together. Link, thank you. I think it's over. Finally. It's all over. Ah, great. <laughs> Nice going, you two. You guys were totally amazing in this little adventure I like to call The Legend of <laughs> Yeah, The Legend of Groose. That's a little joke. Really? I, I couldn't tell. Joke or not, your contributions to our efforts were heroic. You have my thanks. 
Yeah, you were pretty cool, Gruce. Oh, well, you know, just glad I could make myself useful. I'm happy things turned out okay. Hey, so things look pretty soon up here. What do you say, guys? Ready to head back to our own time? Yeah, that would be great. Granny was really worried about you two. We don't want to keep the old girl in suspense too long. <laughs> By the way, if he is the spirit of the Master Sword, how come she only appears in this game? Helio, your grace, or perhaps you prefer Zelda, it pleases me to know you are safe. Master, I must speak with you. In private. Oh, so it makes sense that the sword is, in fact, in the Temple of Time, if this is the Temple of Time. Master Link, you have successfully protected the Goddess Reborn and defeated Demise, fulfilling your role as the Hero of Legend. My purpose here is complete. Therefore, I ask you to dissolve our arrangement as master and servant. Drive the sword into the pedestal before you, and I will return to the sword to enter sleep without end. Master, you have achieved the purpose you were chosen to fulfill. Please set the sword in the pedestal and bring the goddess's mission to an end. Alright. Now, Master, it is time to conclude our necessary companionship. Well, I'll, I'll be seeing you, Fee. You were annoying as dick, but, you know, you're kind of dear to me now. You were my annoying sword. sword is back in its rightful place. Well, not back in, it's there now. I wonder though, how does the Hero of Time manage to get the sheath? Like the Master Sword sheath, because they always have it, it's that one that Link is, has on his back. But he never gets it from the sword, so how does that work? Ah, I'm sorry, I always get caught up in the details. Link. Link, hear me. My purpose was to obey the command of the goddess and lead you, the chosen hero of this land, on your quest. When I first awoke and began this task, I perceived it as, as a merely... I perceived it as merely serving my function as a servant to her grace. However, I have come to consider the information corresponding to our time together among the most precious data I have on record. Ah, uh, that's, that's cute. That's cute. You have... You're, you're like, you have feelings, even though you're a sword and you're a device. That's pretty cool. I do not have the capability to fully understand the human spirit, Link. But now, at the end of my journey with you, as I prepare to sleep with the Master Sword forever, I experience a feeling I am unable to identify. I like sufficient data to be sure of my conclusion, but I believe this feeling correlates closest to what you people call happiness. That's... That's nice. Our partnership is at an end, and even as we speak, I feel more my consciousness fading away. Before I enter the sleep that calls me to the sword, I wish to relay to you words that I recorded many times over the course of our journey. Many have said them to, to you thus far, but I now wish to say them for myself. Thank you. <laughs> Master Link. May we meet again in another life. That's so lost of you. The TV show. Okay, all right, that's pretty, that's cool. The Master Sword is pretty epic. <laughs> what, Empa, why, come with us. Zelda, your grace, you possess the memories of the goddess. You must understand why that is not possible. I am being... I am a being of this age. My place is here. You are? Um, oh, if you say so. Well, I understand that you have to stay here in order for the old lady to be there, but... 
I, I know that, but... You must return to your own time. I will take care of the gate once you have passed through. How come this is your time? This shouldn't be your time. That makes... I don't... Okay, whatever. Maybe it makes sense and I'm just not seeing it. I can't uh, do that. You and I have been through so much together. I don't want to leave you alone. Please, Impa, come back with us. Zelda, at the command of the goddess, I passed through the gate of time. I did so to protect you and aid the fight to prevent the world's destruction. Ah, okay, so her time is in fact this one. And she was here when the goddess was, you know, a goddess still. The last remnants of the Mize are decaying slowly within the sword. Someone must stay behind to watch over this blade. His spirit must not reawaken. He must never be allowed to threaten the world again. By the way, if we place the sword over there, how come the sword wasn't there when we... When you, we are, you know, back in our original time. This is the nature of the task given to my tribe. As a member of the Sheikah, the goddess' chosen, chosen guardians, I gladly welcome this duty. That makes sense. Zelda, I shall watch over the Triforce. Its power is too great to leave in the grasp of men. Dependence on its might is an invitation to disaster. When it has served its purpose, it must be secreted away to lay dormant once again, the knowledge of its existence hidden from mortal history. These are the words the goddess spoke to me long ago. I remember them well, as do you, I'm sure. Well, you are kind of the goddess reincarnated, so... I'm sure this will be of, uh, of importance in a few minutes. Do not despair, Zelda. You and I will surely meet again someday. Now back to our own time, I guess. To live happily ever after. Till another reincarnation of, uh... God damn you, re-remote. God damn you. These batteries were new a few hours ago. Hmm. At least we don't have feet to piss us off anymore about it. She's figuring it out. Aha, uh -huh, you see? I, I knew that was going to be that bracelet was going to be important. A few minutes from, uh, from that time when she gave it to Impa. She is, in fact, Impa. <laughs> that was a final plot twist. <laughs> see? I told you we'd meet again. Uh -huh. uh, what? Why? What? No! No! You were so cool, Impa! Why the hell? No! No! God damn it! You waited all this time just to say that, and then disappear into thin air. God damn you, Impa. Thank you. Thank you for everything. You are most welcome, Zelda. Oh, you were talking to Impa, I'm sorry. How come the sword is there now, but wasn't before? God damn it game and your plot holes. I know someone's just going to tell me in the comments that it's not a plot hole, but, you know, it's a little bit of a plot hole, because if we're in the future, everything that happened in the past already happened.
doesn't matter. It's pretty cool. I, I enjoy this, this little plot device thing here. The sword is pretty epic. Alright, is this the end? No, I think we have a little bit more, right? Or are we, are we gonna roll the credits now? Oh, we are gonna roll the credits! And a very nicely orchestrated Zelda song. This game is awesome. This game is so good. Oh. By the way, before when I mentioned that I was going to try something, I'm probably going to cut, cut that off, I was going to try to show a glitch in the game where you can clip through the walls and end up taking a bath with Mayor Gaiapora. You can do it in two ways. One of them is through that room you can access with the, the claw shots. You can clip through the walls there and then fall down to Mayor Gaiapora's bath. Or you can clip through the door and uh, and go into the bath as well. And um, wait, is this the is is this? Did we see this before, or is this like a, a cutscene that of something that we didn't see before? I think it is. Like this is probably the part where Zelda fell from the clouds in the beginning of the game. That is pretty awesome. I must say, it's pretty cool. Yeah, this is her like going into the temples and getting there right before us, right before us, and her praying and getting memories of the goddess back or something. I think that's that's what she did when she went to the temples. I kind of forget. Cause, uh, I wonder, though, how does she manage to bypass all the puzzles in, in the dungeons and just, you know, get to the end and bypass the bosses and dick? Yeah, how, how the hell did you beat those? How does that work? Yeah. Yeah, you better not... Whoa, what? They're all dead now? I guess Impa killed them? Oh, yeah, that, that was it. Seems so. It's pretty cool. Thank God there was Impa there, or you'd be kind of helpless. I like Zelda. She's so cheerful. I really like the Zelda in this game. She's probably the best incarnation of Zelda. With an honorable mention going to the Spirit Tracks Zelda, because she's pretty cool too. Other than that, other Zeldas, I don't really care for them too much. Ocarina of Time? Not really. Um, Wind Waker? Maybe a little bit, but I didn't really like the character that much then, to be honest. Anyways, this game was amazing. My verdict is if you if you have the money and, and you you enjoy this playthrough or just this part if this is what you're watching go out and buy this just just buy this this is this is the one of the best Zelda games I have ever played in my whole life um, I don't know if it surpasses Majora's Mask as my favorite one probably not just because the characters the the cast of characters aside from the main ones the main ones were very very awesome but ignoring the main ones you know the the secondary cast was pretty forgettable. It wasn't... I mean, they didn't really cap, catch my attention or anything. And that's what I enjoyed about Majora's Mask the most. And that's why this one probably can't dethrone it. Even though I am talking probably from a nostalgic point of view, and if I play the game again, which I will eventually, um, then I the game would not be as good as I remember it. But I, I, I still find it to be the best one out there. The best the best Zelda game, Majora's Mask. But this one this one is definitely definitely second one. Second or, or third. I don't know. I really love this game. This this game is awesome. The, um, the way it tugs at your heartstrings, it's fantastic. The musical score, perfect, superb. I really loved it. Bad things, um what can I say about this game that isn't a praise? Well, basically we'd only got to traverse three, like, three environments and they made you backtrack a lot and visit the same, the same three areas 
throughout the whole game. That that was pretty that was pretty lame. I mean, Mr. Miyamoto, you could have added a few more areas. Like if you had five areas, that would have been perfect. That would have been fantastic. And uh, I wouldn't have minded backtracking through all those five areas, but three, I think, is just a little bit too. There should have been more. That's that's all I mean. But the game is awesome, even even though we had to backtrack a lot. That's it's not such a such a something that would break my opinion of the game. This game is fantastic. Go out and buy it if you haven't already. Oh, this, this is the Spanish cast. The people that did the Spanish translation, maybe, because they were all Spanish for some reason. Debug people, programming, lots of Japanese people that I can't really pronounce. Uh, I'm sad now. I am sad that I... Uh, I don't have Zelda to play anymore. Oh well, I really enjoy this. Thank you everyone that participated and helped me with the game and finding things that I had missed and that stayed... especially those that stayed with me from the beginning, from the first part to the last. Thank you guys very, very much, and I will see everyone hopefully on my next playthrough. See you! God damn that annoying battery sign. Oh, we're not done yet. Okay. Hey, everyone is, uh, every, the gang is here. So, did Link and Zelda get together? What happened? Did she get together with Groose, maybe? I don't know. I would assume she picked Link. By the way, the reason Link's name is Link is because he is the link between the player and the game. And I'm not making that up. That's, that was in, in Hyrule's story. I just forgot to mention it before. <laughs> Look around us. As a child, I always dreamt of a world below. I wanted to see the surface with my own eyes and feel the land's warm breeze in my skin, on my skin. I, I think I want to live here. I always want to feel solid ground beneath my feet. Didn't you before? Doesn't doesn't the skyloft count as solid ground? I mean, see the clouds above my head and watch over the Triforce. How about you, Link? Oh, I'm gonna live with you. What do you do now? Link will chuckle. That's 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 what Link will do. So, what now? Is this it? Is this the end? I guess it is. It is the end. Cool. Well, I will see you guys later. Thank you very much.